The third plane of the nine hells is ruled by Mammon, the Mammon. clutching lord of avarice. Nothing of value exists for long on this plane before being destroyed or taken inside the walls of his many pillared fortress. This nameless abode is built of black stone brought from another plane and stands crazily upon great pillars that sink constantly slowly into the bottomless ooze of the marsh. The outlands of Mineros form one great dismal marsh of stinking, rotting earth covered with carrion and some inches of water. Ooh. Some inches of water. It's like Rio Linda. It Ooh. is a place of eternal rain, dirty water mixed with hail falls ceaselessly at a steady pace from the murky fog shrouded air. Maybe more like Los Angeles. The bodies of a great many creatures lie here. Indeed, it is said elsewhere in the hells that Mammon's house is built upon them. Disease is rampant here. The <laughs> fortress of Mammon is the only building of any sort of on Mineros in the marshes. Mammon allows stone to be used only in cells. These are great shallow pits, two or three feet deep in water, in which one or more great stones lie. Fastened to the stones at one end and dangling from them are great chains and manacles of iron or brass. The vigilant barb doubles will capture any intruders and bring them hence where they sit or stand chained in the cold fetid water until they die are taken away for interrogation or torture or escape. Sometimes when Mammon on his or his lieutenants are occupied elsewhere, the barb devils will let a prisoner quote unquote escape and then hunt it for cruel sport. <laughs> what they cannot capture, they kill or else call on Fokalor, the pit <sighs> of Fiend Zimmar, Zimmar mm -hmm. or Mammon himself to deal with the escapees. Fuck, is that my toxic You can escape from fish? a level? Excellent. Huh? You can escape from a level? No. You can escape from which mountain? Yes. Cuber could get out. So Fokalor is a hellish great duke of hell. What the fuck? Hey, we're going to go over to Fokalor's later tonight. You want to go, man? He's a hellish demon of hell. Why yeah, would I want to go there? I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm driving. He used to get high with Fokalor. Oh, fuck, man. He's got the best shit in town, man. Fuck. He commands 30, 33, 3 or 30 legions of demons. Whatever. That's a lot. He commands 3 or 30 legions of demons, appears as a man with griffin's wings. Thakalor can kill and drown men, overthrow warships, and has power over wind and sea. Mm. Throughout I, bet history, he was, I bet he was president at 300. Yeah. Throughout history, multiple formalized classifications of demons have been proposed none of them however are considered canon by modern mainstream christian denominations instead lists of formalized demonologies tend to remain popular in occult traditions thanks a lot for that you want to know the why pseudo, what nothing the pseudo monarchia demonum or false monarchy of demons by the dutch occultist johan weyer was published as an appendix to his book titled on the tricks of demons in 1577 the description of Fuckalar is as follows. He's a great duke coming forth as a man with wings like a griffin. He kills men, drowns them in waters, overturns ships of war, commanding and ruling both winds and seas. And that the conjure note that if you bid him hurt no man, he willingly consents thereto. He hopes after a thousand years to return to the seventh throne, but he is deceived. He hath 330 legions. He's okay. Deceived. Why would he go to what throne? The seventh throne. Oh, I'm assuming God. God's throne. Oh, shit. Good luck, Falker Lore. Because there's, there's the seven, there's yeah, the seven sense. heavens, seven and the heavens. seventh heaven is where you meet God. Seventh heaven. <sighs> so he well, really thought he was going to make it that far, huh? Well, he's, he thinks he is. Delusions of grandeur. Yeah. Good for him. Falker Lore. He's got a goal. Falker Lore. Fakalor's got goals. Show me your whispering eye. Oh, Fakalor. Sorry. Fakalor, show me thy whispering eye. Completely out of it. Yeah. All right. Totally typically, typically, barbed devils perch atop the stone of a cell, burning the heads and exposed portions of the prisoners below. Prisoners soon learn, if they survive that long, to sit tight against the rock so that they can use it for protection and support to elevate themselves out of the water by sitting on a pile of bones and to keep their heads above water even when sleep comes. Barbed devils can control the intensity and size of their flame, 
with great accuracy, the groundwater of minerals will douse such a flame, but the resultant scalding steam can also do considerable damage to anyone that is unprotected. Toward the center of the plain, minerals rise into a vast, tortured volcanic badlands of ash hills and slime-filled rifts. The Palace of Mammon sits in a marshy bowl at the heart of these volcanic lands where many rifts meet. It is here where Mammon's seneschal, Thokalar, stands guard over Glacia, who is Mammon's consort, Mammon's palace, and Mammon's affairs when his master is out hunting across the badlands. The pit fiend, Zimimar, commands the palace guard of six companies of bone devils and will either be found at the palace or hurrying elsewhere to protect Mammon or enforce his will. Or he's probably walking around with a piece, piece of paper in his hand looking busy, but not really is busy. Fucking easy daisy. The vassal dukes of Mammon rule stretches of volcanic ridges and ash-choked, lifeless woods far from the central palace between the uplands and the marshes where prisoners lie in dolor. Okay. Mm, I'm Chief scared. among these vassal dukes is Bale. B-A-E-L. Mm. Who Christian. can gather six companies of barbed devils and actively plots to supplant Fockler and ultimately mm. Mammon himself. Dude, I can't them. with these names. These are all like pseudo monarchia or Christian names. Like Gary, Paul, <laughs> like Gary, Travis, <laughs> Benjamin. Um, <laughs> Bale, th- the way that they spell Bale in this one is not the same Bale as what B A A L. Yeah, what um, uh, Clay and I were talking about. It's a completely different person. Makes sense. It the does. Duke. Car Cranolis. Okay. Commands. I was like Clark Kent. I was like, fuck. <laughs> the Duke Clark Kent. <laughs> now I know it's bullshit. Commands 36 <laughs> companies of barb devils. And although he is aware of Bale's ambitions, neither supports nor betrays them. The Duke Melcon, who can muster only 18 companies of Aaronies, chooses to be eagerly and actively loyal to Mammon, which has earned him the deep suspicion of the Seneschal. Fuck Mammon. Off. I haven't heard that in a while. At least, at least three minutes. Oh, we. Well, I mean, yeah. That I okay. All right. The that demon. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Car, Car Cranolis is the mm-hmm. grand president of hell. He is known as Casimolar or Glacier, Glazia, and is represented in the shape of a god with the wings of a griffin. Again, that's the second one. He is supposed to inspire knowledge of the liberal arts and to incite homicides. It is also believed that his this fiend is able to render people invisible, commands 36 legions of devils. And Malcon is a fiery, red-skinned, humanoid devil with upturned bull-like horns, black curling brows and beard, black hoofs, and large crimson wings. He is a lesser commander in the service of Mammon, a devil most jealous of his strong fellows. Malcon is something of a malcontent and would welcome any setback to Bale or Fockler, but he masks his true feelings. Since then, he seems to run out of patience, and he is currently conspiring with Clark Kent, a fellow ah! servant of Mammon, to murder the Duke Bale and seize control of his legions. And kill porn stars. Yeah, then use additional troops to launch a coup against Mammon and himself. Little do they know that they are actually doing the will of Glazia, who wishes to destroy Mammon, her former lover, and add his lair to her own. Glazia, Glazia. let's see, is Glazia. a princess of hell. She is noted to be one of the most powerful and influential of the female devils. Her symbol is a copper scourge. Uh, she's incredibly beautiful, has copper-colored skin, dark red or black hair, appears human except she has bat-like wings, horns, and a forked tail. Ooh, except yeah. things. She is the daughter of the overlord of the hells, Asmodeus, and his deceased queen, Ben Soiza. Sozia? Ben Sozia. Ben is in Benadryl. She is also the former consort of Mammon. Glazia has become friends with another, the daughter of Belial. And Glazia's influence has caused Fierna to grow increasingly independent from her father, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, uh, well, uh, I don't know. I like the girl with the gold skin, though. What does she do again? Who? No, what will she do? That's what I want to know. You know what that reminds me of? Oh, you know, you know what that is? She's the demon in, um, oh, boy. 
what was the weird movie where there's the giant and it's played by McFly and the demon is and uh what's what's Brad Pitt's ex-wife name what's what's that, what's that guy? Angelina Jolie yeah and she's a demon and and the father is uh the king father is uh Anthony Hopkins that was that definitely Joe? a Mike question yeah Mike knows it I'll call Joe if I have to she plays Joel. a demon and she swims around and then she comes out and if you have a sex with her oh like oh um not Rapunzel. Oh, no, no. I know Rapunzel. what you're talking about. <laughs> well, it's like that. Like Rig and Yeah, no, it is. Beowulf. It was done. It was Beowulf. Like, um, That's it. Beowulf. Yeah. Beowulf. Yeah. Not the helicopter Beowulf. one. She's not a. She's a demon. Uh, she's a demon. No, that's Beowulf's mother. Again, she's a demon. She's a cave dwelling sex pot demon. She swims around. She's got a tail. Gold. She's got gold. She's got gold skin. She comes out of the water and she's all. I don't like Angel Angel Angelica. What? Uh, what? Whatever. What was it? What's Oli? What the fuck's her name? Pitt. Yes. But Angelina she, Jolie. Yeah, that one. But she's good in that one. She doesn't have to do anything. That's why. No, she. But it's not even the real Angelina Jolie. It's a. It's a uh, CGI model. That's why I've uh, filled up so many right. napkins to it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean by Philip and Napkin, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Okay, good. Heather? Angelina what? Jolie plays Grendel's mother. That's the one. Grendel. Grendel, Grendel is the... Uh, 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 he's a giant. Yeah, he is. And he goes to kill everybody. He's so upset. Grendel's mother is one of three antagonists in the anonymous old English poem Beowulf. You have Grendel, the mother, and the dragon. Grendel's mother's never given a name. Huh. And it's yes, and it's is. the subject of an ongoing or, controversy among medieval oh. scholars. Imagine having that fucking fight with everybody. I hate him. I don't like that guy because he has he's given a name to Grendel's mother. I got beef with the guy. It's Grendel's mom. Oh, that, that guy's a dick. I don't like that guy at all. Um, but done by Bob. Ah. <laughs> because that's what fucking McFly. He always plays a weirdo. The Crispin like, guy? Yeah. Crispin Glover. He's, yeah. he's a strange cat. You know what I like him, though, in? Uh, uh, Charlie's Angels. This tall, thin, creepy man. That's literally his name. Yeah, he was really good in that, actually. He just played himself, probably. He, he was also pretty good in the... Um, what's the movie about the rats? The dude yeah, about the rats. Uh, Wilbur? Yeah. Or Willard? Um, I think it's Wilbur. Have you seen that one, Heather? You'd love it. He's like friends with these rats. He's like, oh, that's as fucking weird as he can be. Like the kind of guy that would just have a rat that is his best friend. Even though the rat just causes mischief. It's, it's Willard. Willard, yeah. Just like Will Smith's real name is Willard. Isn't it Willard Smith? Interesting. It is. I won't get off topic, but I do have some not simpler. Yeah, there's there's Willard, and then there's the sequel, Ben. Oh, Ben. 1971 was the original Willard. 1972, Ben came out. And then, then the remake, Willard with Crispin Glover, came out. Written and directed by Crispin Glover. Seen well, in such gems as Reservoir Dogs. No, what, not Reservoir Dogs. What's the other one? Uh, Back to the Future. No, 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 no. He's seen, seen, seen in such classics as Back to the Future. And oh, yeah, I sued for uh, his uh, character rights in Back to the uh, Future, too. My own private idol. idol. <laughs> with a soundtrack by B-52s. <laughs> My own private Cleveland. It's my own private Idaho. <laughs> they're all, we're going to get the B-52s on this one. And they're like, it just doesn't work. And I'm like, we're going to make it work. Bring your jukebox money. We're in my own private Idaho. <laughs> you know what? They do have one good song called Work That Skirt. Have you ever heard that? It's like a go-go dancer song. I dig I Love do. Shack. Love Shack is actually cool. I do song. like Love Shack, too. The That's Love cool. Shack. I saw them in concert. At the Did fair. You? Oh yeah, at the fair in like two thousand. Because my parents were going, they're like, "Hey, we're down here. We got, we're gonna go see the B fifty twos." And I was like, drunk over at Fridays. And I was like, "Yeah, I'll come over." Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? And I got like more drunk. Yeah, I was gonna say drunker, drunker, and then drove home. <laughs> <laughs> and we've all done that from the fair. Yeah. yeah. That's that was when I would just pass my street in my BMW. I'd just be all like leaning back in the seat, all comfortable, and then I'd be like, "So my my exit was Bond, and then I'd have to take a right somewhere." And I still got lost the other day when I like tried to look for it. I still can't find my own house, and I'd be driving, and pretty soon I'd be like out in these farm fields. I'm all wait a minute, where am I? 
<laughs> and I have to turn around and drive back like four miles. And I'm like, and then one morning the car was in the neighbor's driveway. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> How did this get here? Because the guy next to me uh, it was a rental, but the people were never living there. And he was my friend. And sometimes I'd park over there and talk with him because nobody lived there. He'd just be over there working on it. And I guess I just decided I was parking there that night. How did I How did I park there and make it to my house and not – how did that make any sense? I don't know. Sense. I've never blacked out, so. It wasn't a blackout. Well, I guess it was at least I a brownout. Blackout. Brownout at least. Are we done? Do you want I to have done? do a fucking spreadsheet? <laughs> Okay, I'm hanging up. Good night. Love you both. Bye. Is there any? Is there more? Or are we done? We're done. Okay. Good night. We'll be done. Bye bye. Okay. I say. I say good day. Good day, sir.